What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Women's Warby. I'm back at y'all. I told y'all I'd be back today with another video. For some reason, the video that I... I I'm trying to fix this. Okay, for some reason, the video that I did yesterday, it lost sound halfway through the video. I, I, I don't know what happened. I don't know. If I, YouTube, I don't know what it was. But, y'all, if y'all caught it, the message basically was, like, look, check this out. When trouble come... Don't be so hit. Don't be so. Don't be mad. Don't get upset. You know, trouble gonna come. That's part of life. Count it all joy because your blessing is right along the way. That was yesterday's video. I just wanted to touch on that a little bit because we did lose Sam. Don't know what happened, but anyways, today I'm coming through. If you like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Today I'm coming through with um. Basically, y'all, I'm just doing motivational talks right now because I know it's a lot of people that's going through stuff. I know life is changing. I know this world is changing. I know a lot of it's a lot of uncertainty in this world right now that we're living in. And to be honest with y'all, Christ is not the author of confusion. That's Satan. Satan is the author of confusion. He wants you to feel uncertain. He wants you to feel like you don't know where your next meal coming from. He wants you to feel like you don't you could lose everything at every moment because as long as you feel like that, then you don't feel secure in anything you're doing. You are unhinged and at any moment he can use you to do his work. So we must remember that. And then the people that you are around, and, the, and I talk a lot about people and the people that we deal with. Of course, this is a narcissist abuse channel, but that's why I talk about um, people a lot and the type of people we deal with because I want y'all to understand, there's a lot of people out there, man, that they know everything about everybody else's business. I mean, they know everything. Everything about somebody else's business, they know. They know. They can tell you everything about their neighbor's business. They can tell you everything about their co-workers. They can tell you everything about somebody else's business. But I guarantee you, if you go home with them, or if you know anyone who live in their household, in that household that they live is falling apart, Nothing is ran properly. The woman is out of line. She thinks she's got power over the man. The man don't know how to lead. He's soft. The kids is out of line. They ain't being raised right. Family members, their family, it's, it's, just, it's just a bunch of chaos over there. So I'm going to warn y'all, and I'm going to tell y'all something. Stay away from them type of people who act like they know everything about somebody else's business. If somebody is always gossiping about somebody else, stay away from them people. Them people is very, very dangerous. And sometimes, a lot of y'all, you get caught up in the mix of that conversation because you're interested in knowing what's going on in your community. But that's not the person to find that out from. It's just not. That's not the person who you want to find that out from. And really, stop trying to figure out all of that, what's going on. If it's meant for you to know, God will reveal it to you. Stop thinking that you need to be around people that know everybody else's business so you know what's going on in your prospective community. No, it don't work like that. If God wants you to know something, he'll make sure you know. If it's a threat coming your way, he'll make sure. Trust me. God has protected me even when I didn't see it coming. And sometimes I didn't even know I was being protected until after I after the situation was over and done with. And I was like, whoa, God, you really protected me from that. Didn't even know I needed it. So that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Stay away from people who know everybody else's business. Because deep down, they miserable. They hurting. They angry. And the Bible tells us don't make friends with an angry man. They hurting. They just, they in everybody else's business because if they really sit down and look at their own business, they'll eff and cry. They'll cry. If they really sit down and focus on what they was had to focus on, like raising their kids, taking care of their household, doing what they were supposed to be doing, they can't do it. They'll cry. They don't want to do that. It's easier for them to be in somebody else's business. Meanwhile, their kids out here running amok. 
don't got no sense, don't got no direction, don't got no goals, don't got no dreams, living whatever, just like Dwayne Wade with his son or daughter, whatever it is, changing over back and forth. We don't know. That's 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 the perfect example. Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union. I ain't got nothing to do with the son, daughter, whatever, it, whatever, whatever. I don't know if it's son, daughter. I don't know, but I ain't got nothing to do with that. But I'm just using that as a perfect example to show you of chaos in the home. Why they out here? Why people out here? And they know everything about what's going on in the community. They know what the neighbor did. They know what the people down the street did. They know all this. They know all that. But you don't know your son selling drugs. You don't know your daughter got the OnlyFans. You don't know your husband is gay. You don't know that your wife is is out here sleeping with multiple men. I'm just making examples. I'm not saying this to anyone in general, but I'm just making examples because this is the type of stuff you don't know you about to lose your home. You don't know that your car is about to be reprocessed. You don't know that at that job you go to, they don't like you and they about to fire you because you ain't doing your work. Nah, because you're too busy knowing what's going on in everybody else's business. I'm telling y'all, stay away from them type of people. They detrimental to your soul. They detrimental to your well-being. And the longer you around them, the more it's going to rub off on you. Me personally, I don't like a gossip. I'm not going to talk about you if I can't say it to your face. So I'm going to tell you, man, listen. Stay away from them type of people before you find yourself hurt. You find yourself in a situation a situation that you don't want to be in dealing with them type of people and it's not gonna hurt them type of people because they already used to living in chaos y'all get that them type of people that love to sit around and gossip they they used to live in the chaos you are messing around to get caught up in a chaotic situation with them not even there knowing what's going on because that's not your lifestyle they have already adapted to that be careful of the company y'all keep that's basically all i'm trying to tell y'all today be careful of the company you keep. Be careful of who you entertain. Be careful of who your friends and family entertain. Because if they entertaining these type of spirits, then they don't, you don't need to be around them either. Because if they entertaining, hey, hey, what's the old saying?